Hi, in this video we're going to talk about Facebook's new Groups for Schools. This is a way that Facebook has set up where universities can have for specific classes private groups in Facebook to use for discussions and other type of social networking activities. So for this course, being on social networking, we're going to actually have our discussions take place in the private group we've set up for this course using the new Groups for Schools. If you're curious about how Groups for Schools work, basic questions, you can visit facebook.com slash help slash group slash group for schools. You can see the URL right there and you can read all about it. But the first step you have to do is you have to get approved to access the group and get connected with your university. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my Facebook account, which is currently actually using the email of an old university I used to work with. Okay, I have a little safety feature. So the first thing you have to do is search for your university. So I'm going to type in Boise State and it starts coming up. I click on it and if I scroll down the first thing it says is see what's happening at Boise State. If you scroll down you'll see you have to confirm your email and so you need proof that you are tied to Boise State and this is for students. I'm actually have an employee ID. I'm going to hit confirm. And then it wants my Facebook password. Go to your email and you'll get an email from Facebook called Facebook Email Verification. And if you go down here, you have to click on this link to verify your email. So once you verify your email, with Facebook. If you go back to the groups page you'll notice that you can scroll around and fill out some information, fill out as much as you feel comfortable with. You can look through the groups and you can start going through but really the next step in this process is once you've confirmed your email with Facebook and your connection to Boise State then the instructor can give you permission to join the group and once you do that you will be able to check out the group Typically, I would say that it'll probably take your instructor 24 to 48 hours to give you access to the group in Facebook. If for some reason it's taking longer than that, then email your instructor directly. But once you've been confirmed and set up and added to the group by your instructor, you can go to the Facebook group page. And you'll notice that here it is, EdTech Social Networking. And then you can start seeing already that there's already some posts here. So many of you, if not all of you, are probably very familiar and comfortable with the interface of uh, Facebook. So you can write posts, you can comment on posts, you can like posts, you can do lots of other things. So um, if, if you have any questions on using Facebook groups, just contact your instructor. You should find that overall that this is a very comfortable and familiar way to have course discussion. Thanks.